lacrosse Olympic champion and uh, obviously working with some youth wrestlers here. Kendall, talk about uh, coaching young wrestlers in Texas and why you're out here in Fargo working with them. Uh, well, you know, I, uh, I work with a group of boys down in, in Dallas and uh, with a club there. And several of them are on uh, Team Texas, so I uh, jumped in and came to try to help them out, you know, give them some uh, experiential lessons. Now, I, I know we're, we're not as young as we used to, but do you remember when you used to be a high school kid wrestling in these big events like Fargo? Uh, I do, I do. It makes me miss it, you know, coming into a gym. I've actually been into, I haven't been to this competition in, uh, you know, a few years, so it's nice to be back, and it gives me those same kind of, you know, those chills uh, for my boys that are doing it, just kind of like I had when I was, you know. So, uh, have you seen uh, much of the new rules? Uh, any thoughts about, you know, how uh, we're seeing a lot more scoring, but I'm uh, just curious your thoughts as you've seen yes. some of the free stuff. Yes, I love it. I mean, if you just kind of skim over the scoreboards and, and see the different scores, you know, I'm seeing 12 to 10 and I even got 17, 15 over there and 10 to 2. You know, I just love seeing all the points. And, you know, what, you know, a year ago we wouldn't have seen that. And so your style of wrestling would be to put up some points, right? Yeah. Go for pins. I mean, would the new rules be good for you? You're right at my alley. Uh, with no comebacks in, in, in your mind, are there? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> tried that once. <laughs> so, uh, you know, obviously you're an Olympic champion. It's been a real interesting and rough year for the sport of wrestling. We're trying to fight our way back onto the Olympic program. Just your thoughts about maybe... Uh, yeah, how things are going for wrestling uh, as someone who won the Olympics, uh, you know, your feeling about how we've kind of shown our, our best foot in the last few months. Yeah, you know, looking at the positive in it, I think what it uh, allowed us to do, and you know this, Gary, it's, 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 um, it's really made us kind of look in, into ourselves, and introspective with this whole thing and say, well, what is, what is wrong with us? And, and, um, and it helped us kind of pull our business together and, and, and actually probably make us stronger. As a uh, you know, as a world community, you know, I think it's uh, it's going to make us stronger uh, going forward. I really uh, I have a hard time believing that we're not going to be in the 2020 program. You know, I, I, uh, I just, it's hard for me to understand or see that that might happen. Um, so you know, going forward, I, I, I make an assumption that we're going to be in there and we're going to be bigger and better and stronger and also um, easier to understand. Yeah. You know, from a fan standpoint, I think that was one of the issues. Was uh, you know, it seemed to me like that was saying, "Hey, look, man, get your act together, okay?" And, and so it feels like we're in the, going in that direction. Yeah, well, it seems like it's interesting. Our old battle guys we used to go against Russia, Iran, all them—they're really starting to talk and communicate and try to put our best foot forward as a sport. I mean, it's kind of a, the family thing of wrestling is is coming out now. I mean, you got a sense of that from the guys that have traveled and. I, I do, I do, and you're exactly right. It's a, uh, you know, instead of uh, this, you know, this, um, you, know, you know, entrenched battle with each other. Now, it's, at least for the for the moment, it's uh, you know, we're putting arms around each other and uh, embracing each other and saying, all right, let's 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 work together here. Let's let's save this uh, sport. So what's the best kind of advice you give a kid in the junior or cadet division? I mean, you know, this is a big event. Uh, what do you, yes. as a coach, have them focus on? Well, I never won this thing. Okay. Best I ever do a sport. Um, <laughs> but I don't tell them that. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, I just can't. They know. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I, there's, they get so nervous because really this is the, uh, man, this is the, the grand coup of, uh, yep. of, of, of the, for this level, you know, one of the biggest tournaments in the world, literally. And, um, yeah, I try to teach them that, hey, look, you know, you train like it's the end of the world, and uh, you compete like it's just another day, and truly this is just another tournament. And the kid that you're going to wrestle is just as nervous as you are, Right. and uh, it's how they handle their nerves. And, and um, so my hope is that, you know, they have a great experience and, and get better and, and uh, you know, take steps forward. If they don't win it this year, let's win it next year. That's good. Hey, Kendall Cross, always great catching up with you, buddy. Thanks, Talk Gary. to you soon, man. Thanks.